Pastor Greg here from St. Paul's United Methodist Church and Wesley Foundation in downtown State College. I was here in our sanctuary for a special event uh, one night this week when the sun was just pouring through this particular stained glass window. It was just the way the sun was in the sky and it was coming through this window in a way that was just radiant and glorious. And I could hear people throughout the room saying, whoa, look at that, look how beautiful, do you see that? And as I reflected on that, I was remembering another incident uh, recently when I was out at Wesley Forest. Uh, it's a camp owned by uh, our conference of the United Methodist Church, not too far away from State College. And I was teaching the confirmation class in a cabin there at Wesley Forest. And we had the, the front door uh, open and there was just a screen door there that you could see through. And as I was teaching, uh, sort of in mid-sentence, I, I saw on the kind of the first tree right outside the, 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 the front door of the cabin, a red-headed woodpecker. And it wasn't even making a lot of noise. It was just there on the side of the tree. And it just struck me. Its plumage was so vibrant and beautiful. And in mid-sentence, I just stopped. And I was like, you all have got to look at this bird. It's gorgeous. Take a look. I wonder, what are the things in life that make us kind of stop and say, whoa, look at that. It's beautiful. I want to invite you to join us this weekend in worship because we're going to be talking about this. We're going to be finishing our conversation that we've had over the last six weeks or so about the Lord's Prayer. And as we come to the last statement in the prayer, when we say, thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever, we're sort of saying, wow, look at that. We're, we're in awe and we're in admiration. It's a way for us to, to sort of point and see how good and glorious God is. You know, sometimes God's glory is something we see on our own. And sometimes it's the kind of thing we need someone to kind of point us to and say, look, there it is. We'd love for you to be a part of that conversation with us as we worship together this weekend and talk about these things. We've got a few ways you can join us. You can uh, join us in person here uh, at our, our downtown location at 9 or 10.30 in the morning on Sunday. Uh, uh, masking is optional as we continue to worship together in person. Uh, well, you can also join us uh, online. We are live streaming our 1030 service on our YouTube channel. And uh, you can, that's a way you can connect with us online and, and, uh, and, and be with us live or, or watch it later, uh, whatever fits your schedule. But however you'd like to, we would love for you to be a part of that conversation. And my hope is that when we worship together, we might catch a glimpse of what makes us say, oh, Look at that. So come and join us as we look together.